we're going to be making some more traditional Zambian foods today. We're going to make a peanut chicken stew and shima and probably some greens to go with it. And Kyler's going to help me. So, our first step is we have to brown our chicken. I am going to turn this on. Add some avocado oil. And you go ahead and put our chicken in. Brown in there, good. Still a little frozen. So our chicken is brown now. We took that out, and we're gonna add these ingredients. Okay, to that plate. On this plate we have one onion, about three inches of ginger, and it said six to eight cloves of garlic, and we like a lot of garlic, so we did nine. Alright, so we've got all in. And it called for a couple sweet potatoes cut up into pieces. We didn't have sweet potatoes, so we used sweet potato fries we had. Alright, so this is done sauteing, so now we're going to add some more ingredients. So kind of grab the crushed tomatoes. We need about half that can. Alright, and the seasonings we have there, that up. that's got cumin, parsley, salt, and a little bit of cayenne. Because we have kids who don't want it too hot. All right, so put that in. Okay, and that cup of peanut butter. And that quart of chicken broth. Then we put the lid on and we put this on low for an hour and a half. You see the lid right there. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna make the shima. And we have our salted boiling water here. At least the water's boiling. And Kyler's gonna stir in half of our corn. We're gonna let that cook on low for about 15 minutes. We're gonna stir all that to get those pulps out. Let it cook for about 15 minutes. Once it has, we're gonna put the rest of the cornmeal in spoonful by spoonful until it reaches a thick paste. And then it will be ready. Alright, so it's done. It's been simmering for like three hours. So the sweet potato just disintegrated in it and we sort of shredded up the chicken. But there's our finish. Hello again. Um, I'm on the road once again, but this time I'm in Biloxi. I had an opportunity to come to a church called Trinity Bible Church that I would consider a huge pivotal point in my life. Uh, it was here that I really found a loving God because of loving people and I uh, just really got to open up my relationship with him and learn more about it and I got to come back and just hang out with some friends today. It's been really great. I uh, made the trip over this morning, got a chance to speak with the congregation, share in our vision, what we're going to be doing in uh, Lis Lisaka and Zambia. Um, I also had the chance to just share some of the incredible things that I learned through observation of scriptures as they taught me years ago and then got to just have a good time of, of meal and eating with them. So uh, it was just a great trip to get out here. Uh, also I got to stick my feet in the sand a little bit over the beach because you can't come to Biloxi and not put your feet in the sand. Uh, so it's just really good time to get out and have fun and enjoy meeting with people. Uh, hope you have a great week.
All right, so we have our finished product. Let me see, Aiden. We have our Shima that should be white, but is yellow. Our chicken peanut stew and some sauteed greens. And so boys, you take a pinch of the Shima and then you can dip it in your sauce. So. You gonna dip it in the sauce, Kai? So, what do we think? Good. You like? Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't really like about it is that just because of me, because I don't, I'm not a big fan of peanuts. Do you like the peanut sauce kind of stuff? That's really the only reason I don't like it. But it's still good, right? Yes. Thaddeus, what you think? Is it good? Just the Shima. If you subscribe to our channel and like this video, it will help our channel a lot. See you next week.